In this tutor tip, we're going to take a look at how we erase and format flash drives on a Mac. This is also how we erase and format hard drives. Let's go to my Mac. Let's open up a Finder window. I'm going to go down to my Finder here. I click on it. And over in my sidebar here, when I scroll up, you're going to see I have devices. These are all of the devices that are connected to my computer. I have a Drobo and I have my Noteboom Archive hard drive. These are two hard drives. I also have Untitled. This is my flash drive. What I want to do is I want to erase my flash drive. Now in order to erase a flash drive or even a hard drive, what we need to do is we need to open up our disk utility. Disk utility is an application that is included on every Mac. It's located in the utilities folder, which is in the applications folder. So when I go over to my applications folder here, let's click on it. We have all of my different applications. When I scroll up, you're going to see we have utilities. And in this utilities folder, we have disk utility. Now, if I'm in the finder, I can also go up to go here. And then when I click on it, you're going to see utilities. I select it. It opens up my utilities folder. So now to erase my flash drive or even a hard drive, what I need to do is I need to open up disk utility. So let's go ahead and double click on this. It opens up. I'm going to close the window in the back. This is our Disk Utility app. Now when we're looking at the app, you're going to see on the left side we have our list of drives, including our flash drive. Let's take a closer look at these drives. Let's look at my passport. This is a Western Digital Passport drive. If we look at it, you're going to see it says Noteboom Archive HD underneath it. What is this? Well, this is the partition. Whenever we have a drive, we always have to have a partition. In most cases, we will only have one partition, but a hard drive can have multiple partitions. But in most cases, you're only going to see one partition. So when I look at my Apple SSD drive, underneath it we have one partition, Macintosh HD. If we go and look at my Drobo 5D, underneath it we have one partition, my Drobo. And when we go and look at my Crucial, this is my flash drive here, what do we have underneath it? one partition. So each drive is going to have at least one partition and in most cases it is only going to have one partition. Now when we erase these drives what we do is we select the partition. So if I want to erase my flash drive, my crucial gizmo drive, what I do is I select the partition. So I'm going to select untitled here. Now if you do not see a partition underneath your hard drive you may have to select the hard drive and then erase that hard drive. It'll create a partition. But in most cases, all you need to do is select the partition you want to erase. So let's go ahead and select Untitled here. I'm selecting the partition from my flash drive. Now all I need to do is click on Erase in my toolbar. But before we do that, you want to make sure that you have the right drive selected. If I accidentally selected Drobo here, what I would be doing is I would be erasing my Drobo. If I accidentally selected my Noteboom Archive HD, I would be erasing that Noteboom Archive HD. What I want to do is I want to erase my flash drive. Now if you're not sure which drive is your flash drive, all you need to do is just unplug it from the computer. Watch what happens when I unplug my flash drive from the computer. We can see that it disappears. Now I'm going to plug it back in. And there's my drive back again. So now I know which one is my flash drive. So this is an easy way to see which one is your flash drive. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the partition, the untitled. Now to erase it, we go up to erase in the toolbar. I select it. We have a sheet that comes down. From here I can go and name it. And then I can also go and format it. Now by default when we erase a drive it's going to format it as OS X Extended Journal. If you're going to be using this flash drive on your Mac, and not on a Windows computer, just leave it at OS X Extended Journal. If you're going to be using this on a Windows computer along with your Mac, what you may need to do is go and select MS-DOS FAT. When you format it as MS-DOS FAT, that drive, that flash drive, will be able to be used on both Windows and Macs. If you're only going to be using it on your Mac, just leave it at OS X Extended Journal. So I'm going to be using this on my Mac only. So now all I need to do is click on Erase. So let's go ahead and erase it. And now it is erasing that drive. 
Now this may take a little bit of time depending on how fast your drive is. When it is finished, all we have to do is just click on Done. I click on it, and now we just erased and formatted our flash drive. Now again, we can use the same process to erase and format a hard drive. I want to go and format or erase my passport. I select it, and then we go up to Erase, and then all I need to do is just rename it and click on Erase. So that's how we can erase our flash drives as well as our hard drives on a Mac. All we need to do is just open up Disk Utility, which is in our Utilities folder, which is in the Applications folder. From there, you're going to see a list of all of the different drives connected to your computer. Select the partition of the drive that you want to erase, and then click Erase in the toolbar. If you're not sure which drive is your flash drive, just unplug it and see which drive disappears from your list. Plug it back in, that drive will reappear, and then you know which one is your flash drive. From there, select the partition, and then click on Erase. When you click on Erase, you're also going to be able to change the format. If you're going to be using this with Windows and Mac, choose MS-DOS FAT. If you're just going to be using this on your Mac, choose Mac OS X Extended Journaled. So that's how we format our flash drives as well as our hard drives on a Mac.